Welcome kindergartners. The last time that you were in class, we were using our scissor skills and cutting out shapes on worksheets. One of the shapes were, that we used, or the styles of shapes, were geometric shapes, shapes that have names like circles, rectangles, triangles, and squares. And that's what we're going to be doing today again, but instead, this time, we're going to make an artwork out of it. So you, this one you'll eventually be able to take home. On your tables, I have um, scissors and there's two baskets. One basket is for cutting out geometric shapes and there's all kinds of colors to choose from in here. The other basket are all organic shapes. Some students didn't get a chance to practice organic shapes in the last class period and that's okay. You, you're pretty good with your scissors now, but we're um, for this shape we are thinking about cutting curvy lines and that's hard as a kindergartner. So please understand that if your lines don't show up curvy today with our organic shapes, it's okay. We're just trying to do our best. What our job is going to be is going to be making a snail, kind of like Matisse's snail, except for we're making our own, we're not copying his. Um, Mrs. Samala has an example that I can show you. So in order to make my snail, what I did is I came up with all kinds of geometric shapes first. So I just grabbed paper from my geometric box and I cut out many geometric shapes. Then when I knew I was done with that, I went into this box and I thought about only my curvy shapes, so kind of blobby or rounded shapes on here. And then I cut out a pile of those. When I was done then, I made a shape pattern, organic geometric, organic geometric, organic geometric, organic geometric. So I kept on going back and forth. I didn't care about the colors, I only cared about the shapes. Then when I was done, I thought my snail needed a body, and I know that Matisse really didn't have a body on his snail, so I drew in an oval, a circle, and then I put a little triangle on the head, which are my geometric shapes. I use my geometric shapes to build my snail body, and then I put some eyes on it, and I even made a snail trail. So today, hopefully, we're going to be using, uh, practicing our geometric and our organic shapes um, to be making our artwork. So what I would like you to do is, first of all, go to the back of the classroom and get a big sheet of paper. Please write your name on that sheet of paper on the bottom. The next thing I want you to do is think just geometric. For the first few minutes of class, what I'd like you to do is cut out shapes, whoa, out of one square, I got two triangles or out of one square, I could get more triangles if I wanted to. I like triangles a lot, so Mrs. Samla was cutting a lot of those. Or I could cut out some rectangles, and then I could cut them down even to squares. Ooh, I like how different this feels. I think I'm gonna do this. So right now, I have a lot of geometric shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That feels like a lot. I think after I get nine geometric shapes cut, and you know what, that happened really fast because they're straight edges, I think I'm gonna put them in a pile over here on my table. Now, because I have many geometric shapes cut, I'm going to start thinking about my organic shapes. Ooh, I love that this is green. So what I'm going to do is thinking about my scissor skills and keeping my chicken wing down, maybe even putting it on the table so my chicken wing doesn't go anywhere, I am going to try to use my scissors and turn my paper to cut some organic shapes. So I'm closing my scissors slowly and I'm rotating my paper in order to get, ooh, a cool organic shape. Over this one, I think I'm going to make this one just a smaller shape. Ah, that looks like a little bean. I love to eat beans, so that's a good one. This one I think I'll make a different kind of organic shape. And I'm just practicing right now making my curvy lines. I hope that I can get about eight organic shapes out of this too. When I'm done, 
then I'm going to have a pile of geometric and a pile of organic shapes. I have a couple more organic shapes cut out, some big ones even that I'm just loving. So I'll grab these and then it's time to make my pattern. So for me, it's easier to start in the middle. Using my gluing skills, I'm only going, whew, this is hard, I'm only going to put one drop of glue on my big shape. One drop, trust me, one drop will work great. So starting in the middle of my paper, I wanted to start off with a geometric shape. Now, my pattern tells me to say organic. Oop, I guess on this one I'm using two. It was kind of a long one. Then, geometric, this time I'm going to grab a rectangle. I guess I used two drops again. And on this one, I'm going to use an organic. And on this one, a geometric. And on this one, organic. Now, friends, I'm making my pattern. Are you noticing how when I grab my shape, I put the glue on my shape. I don't put the glue on my paper. Artists actually put the glue on their shapes first. So one drop of glue on the shape, gently put it down, and I go back to this pile so I can think about what my pattern feels like. Oh yes, I definitely need to use some red in there. Going around and around. Sometimes I don't want to use up all of my shapes, and sometimes I do. I actually like this one. I'm going to add one more organic shape. Oh, that feels great. I could use more, but I don't feel like it right now. I like the way it looks just as it is. My last step is going to be, if I feel like it, you don't have to do this. I love my pattern the way it is with my geometric and organic shapes, my soft, curvy shapes. But if I felt like making a snail body, how I did it was made an oval and I made a circle and I made a snail tail and then I put the eyes off of it. Once I got done with that then, let me grab my black marker. I'm going to take a black marker and I can color in my snail using my good coloring skills. I want to get that pencil gone and I want to disguise my oval and my circle and my triangle. I just want to make them look like they're all connected and not separate shapes anymore. So to make it all connected, I just color it in. And then one of my kindergartners one year said, Mrs. Samala, can I make a snail trail? I said, for sure, they do have shiny tra trails that they leave. And now I have my own kind of snail, and I learned, got to learn about geometric and organic shapes today. So that was good. And I used my scissors and gluing skills. Great job, friends. Your teacher will help you to tell you when you should stop um, cutting geometric and when you should stop cutting organic and start the gluing. Have fun today. Thanks. Bye.